Welcome. In a previous video I was testing out this USB on the go adapter for an Android tablet and I connected it up to my HDMI to USB adapter and this is a capture adapter card thing and it didn't work with the Android tablet and then someone made a comment that I should try it with other input sources so I thought I'd do that and lo and behold it does work. And if you find this video helpful I'll put a link to these in the description and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So here's the adapter the OTG adapter, this is the HDMI adapter, and here's the tablet. I have that hooked up to a GoPro and I'm playing back a video on here. And I should be able to record this. There. So I originally had it hooked up to my MacBook and I was outputting 720p on the MacBook and it wasn't recording, it wasn't showing up or anything. So I don't know why that was, but it does seem to be working with the GoPro output. And it's probably outputting 1080p right now. So I'll stop that recording. I'll unplug that. I also have this Raspberry Pi hooked up. So I'll plug that in. You can see the desktop there. I can open up something probably. It's really small. It's actually somewhat responsive. There we go. I can open up my website on it. Now for some reason this tablet isn't working in landscape mode, that's why it's in portrait mode. But you can see it's working with the output from the Raspberry Pi. Next I'm connecting up my Nintendo Classic. Here we are. I don't know if I can show both at the same time, but it's relatively responsive. I haven't played in a while. I'll go back to that. Yeah, it's kind of amazing. This is working pretty decent. So one of the problems I had with the on-the-go adapter is it wasn't powering the tablet at the same time. This tablet does have wireless charging, so you could in theory put this on a wireless charging pad while you're using this adapter. Otherwise you could potentially upgrade this to Lineage OS or something like that and the charging may work at the same time the adapter is plugged in. I'm not real sure, I haven't tested that yet. So it does look like this works after all. Uh, it didn't work with my computer plugged in, but it worked with the Raspberry Pi, it worked with the Nintendo and the GoPro. So your mileage may vary. This also might have worked with the MacBook if I had been plugged into a newer machine than this Nexus 7, it's hard to say. But that's pretty impressive. So I'm going to take the files I recorded here and put them on my Mac so I can see what resolution I was recording them at. Okay, so I have the files transferred to my Mac. I have three videos here and I'll type FF play and I'll just drag that in there. So we can see it's playing here. I'll clear my screen. So now I'll type FF probe and I'll drag that file on here and we'll see the rate it was stored at. So the resolution we got here was 640 by 480 at about 60 frames per second and the audio is 96k mono. This is actually I think one of the native resolutions the camera supports so it may have been recording this natively. Let's check the other videos out. I'm guessing they'll be the same. Yes, it's the same. And the same there too. So what I'm going to do off camera here is I'm going to change the settings, the resolution on the tablet to be 1920 by 1080. And then I'll try re recording the, like the Nintendo again or something. And then I'll put it on my computer and we'll check that out and see if that actually works. Okay, so I downloaded two more files. This is the drive. And this is Dr. Mario. Okay, so here I'm still getting 640 by 480. So I changed the resolution to 1920 by 1080 in the application, but it doesn't seem to support that. So I don't want to drag this video out forever. There could be other applications on the Android tablet that could support 1080p. And it might also support it on newer Android devices. Since this is an old device, this is a 2013 Nexus 7. But I can say that it does work to some extent now. So I was using a camera app here 
and it was just showing me the video. I don't know if you could pass through the audio. If you could do something like that, you could use this as a monitor for a DVD player or something, although I don't know exactly why you would do that. You could potentially play video games on it, but then again, you could just download games to your tablet, and I don't know if it's going to be as responsive as using a regular monitor. So that's all for this video. If there is anything else you want me to test with this, please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.